please watch over us as I do this. Please don't let me get my fingers cut or anything else. All right, all right let's roll. I already got my jacket off, so I'm ready to put that apron on. I'm excited to see what this group has for yeah, us. Yeah, these guys have some, some good techniques down. The MasterChef Season 10 auditions continue as the home cooks rush to finish their signature dishes. Guys, come on, how great is it to be back? Season 10, congratulations. I want to see an individual that's willing to learn, that's able to impart their will, their personality, and their background onto their dishes on a daily basis. Absolutely. This never, ever gets old. I'm Noah Sims. I'm 32 years old. I'm from Epworth, Georgia. I'm a big, loud, six foot seven carnivore. I work in the septic business, but I have an extreme passion for food. Wow. Look at that thing. <gasps> Be easy with those fingers. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I'm doing a southern breakfast burger. Where's the noise, people? <laughs> the whole cooking dream was started by watching my grandma. She was my hero. She passed away, but this burger was one of her favorite things in the world to eat. And every time I cook it, it gets me kind of emotional because it's just the connection that I have with her. Being here was a dream come true, man. I'm going to give Gordon Ramsay a hamburger. I am still in complete shock at this moment. Countdown's coming up. Ready? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Be able to receive an apron would be beyond an honor. It could change my life forever. Hey, gentlemen, how are y'all doing tonight? Evie. What a surreal experience this is, unbelievable. Young man, uh, first name, where are you from? I'm Noah Sims from Epworth, Georgia, north of Atlanta by about 100 miles. Excellent, how tall are you? Uh, six, seven, chef. Well, still growing by the way. Yes, sir. Things. What do you do for a living? I'm a septic services technician. So you stink of waste all day long? No, if you're really good at it, chef, you don't ever actually get it on you. I'm a professional. Amazing. Yes, sir. Season 10, the most competitive season ever. Yes, sir. Yes, What's chef. the dish? Uh, OK, so what we have is an homage to uh, my grandparents. Uh, going over to my grandparents' house as a young kid, grinding meat on the spot. I tried it with my grandma for the first no. time. No. Yes, sir. Just describe the bloody dish. Yes, OK. Otherwise, we get a blanket and some hot chocolate in a minute. <laughs> OK. All right, so what we have here is we have a double bacon cheeseburger with a fried egg, an arugula salad with a homemade hash brown cake that's crispy on both sides. Then we have a, a hot smashed potato salad. If you're going to put a burger in front of us three to get your hands on an apron, I swear to God, it had better be a unique burger. Let's taste it. Holy shit, dude. Yeah? Killer? I, I like that face. This is incredible. Thank you, Chef. This thing here is dry. I think you were trying to be a little too ambitious. This is an afterthought. What's up with this lemon pepper bacon? I've won a competition with that bacon. That is some seriously good bacon. Thank you, Chef. Joe, yes or no? 100% yes. Thank you. Another bite. Thank you, Thank you so Aaron. much. Is this dish worth an apron? That is not. But this is definitely worth an apron. Thank you, Chef. So that's a yes from me. Thank you, Chef. I just hope that we make these in triple X, because I'm not too sure if this one's going to fit. Oh, my huh? gosh. Why not? Oh, my gosh. Man, <laughs> Good you job. got a grip. I thought huh? you were going to have Good a job. grip. My lord, everybody's got a grip. OK, you're a big guy, too. Get that <laughs> bib on. See if it fits. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, honestly, thank you. you just thank stole you. it from Masterchef Junior. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. You're not going to regret this. Come on. Oh my lord. Mm? I hope he washed his hands. Wash his hands. <laughs> Being able to be on MasterChef, it's the best blessing I could ever ask for. <laughs> it's extremely emotional because I felt like I really represented my grandma. So this is the most amazing experience of my life. <laughs> what a burger. I agree. This is maybe the first time a burger won an apron in 10 years. Have we ever had a burger? Nope. That was very good. 
She's cooking. So let's go, mommy. Let's go, mommy. So let's go, mommy. Oh, honey. My name is Sherry. I'm 34 years old from Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I feel like I'm at home cooking. My kids are here crying. That's totally normal. Sherry, this is smelling just like how it is back home. Beautiful. I got into cooking Indian food because obviously I'm married to an Indian man before we met. I didn't cook Indian food. I'd barely even eaten Indian food. And his mom was very worried that he would eat nothing but salads for the rest of his life. So to appease her, I've learned to cook Indian food. Your food is amazing. Yeah. Totally Indian master chef. I've learned spices. I've learned flavor. And now cooking is really my passion. I've been married for 10 years, but I still struggle to win my mother-in-law's approval when it comes to my cooking. All right, Sarah, you've got just a minute left. Last touch, last touch. So today, I'm going to prove to his mom that I can cook Indian food, and it's going to get me an apron. Absolutely. This is your first impression with Gordon Ramsay, Joe Bastianich, and Aron Sanchez. Bring it home. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, hands up. You got this done. Beautiful place. All the best. All the best. I've always worried more about what other people thought of me, and I let that get in the way of following my dream. Oh, my God. But this is my chance to prove to myself that I am good enough. Give us your name, where you're from, and describe the dish, please. My name is Sherry. I'm from Minnesota. My husband's from India. And I'm a small town girl that taught myself Indian cooking. And that is no small feat. <laughs> this is a coconut and coriander curry with a red snapper. Show a look? Yeah. Yep. Visually, that is a very pretty looking Indian curry. The fish is moist, cooked properly. It's a dish that certainly I would want to eat. So for me, it's a yes. Aron, I just love the way that you're able to temper all the spices and have everything sing in a very harmonious way. You nailed it. And for me, yes to an apron. What you captured is the authenticity. Thank you. Sauce is delicious. It's apparent that you know your stuff. Let's get that clear. It's a big yes to an apron. Congratulations. <gasps> well done. I wasn't expecting to cry. <laughs>
It's just, yeah. it's season 10 and the most competitive year ever. It's okay. We are so proud of you. Jason. I tried. <laughs> it reeks of ambition and lacks technique. What a shame. Yeah, exactly. He went way out of his league. Hello, welcome. Hi. Please, tell us something about yourself and what dish you brought us. I'm Charlie, I'm 21 years old, and I am a bartender. I brought you curried shrimp with pickled watermelon, wilted watercress, fresh avocado, and chili lime sauce. So protein and a bunch of vegetables. Yes, I'm a health nut. Oh, you think we need to be healthier? Is that? Of course, everyone does. Why now, at such a young age, in such a fierce competition? I am young, but I am ready. I could face anybody out there and I can put up a battle. All right, let's taste. Wow, the dish is spicy, acidic, the shrimp are cooked well. It's a bit whimsical, just like you. Good job. <sighs> Miss Charlie. Some of those seasoning choices are very aggressive. They overshadow the avocado and the watermelon. Could you make this dish without watermelon? Yeah. I... Why would you make this dish without watermelon? It's a better question to ask him back. Yeah, wh why? <laughs> did, did I encroach on your time? I'm just, she's feisty like me. I'm trying to help her out. This dish has so much potential. Does it warrant an apron? We'll see. Thank you. Shrimp's cooked beautifully. Thank you. But here's the issue. That is just drowned and soggy. Yeah, it's a tough one. Gordon, is it good enough for an apron? Yes. Next year, I don't think you're ready this year. It pains me, because I have to agree with Gordon. It's a no. <laughs> I think you're both wrong. She's got a lot of potential. And here's how wrong I think you are. I'm going to give my battle pass to you. Charlie, you get a second chance. There will be one last apron on the line, and my bet is you're the one to win it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get an apron. You have one judge's pass and you use it on that? Yep. She's gonna be in the competition. Mark my words. It's season 10 so far. The standard has been incredible. There's a lot of talent out there. Yeah. I can't wait to taste some more dishes. Hey, it's spinning, son. I have 20 minutes left. That's probably good. I'm an eighth grade teacher. Repping the Bronx, Brooklyn, New York, all of that. Let's go, baby. <sighs> okay. I quit my job, sold my house to be here right now because this is my passion, this is what I love to do, and I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Home stretch, boy. Oh, you've done this a thousand times. I'm a sales coordinator but the dream is to earn money doing what I love, which is cooking. I've had a lot of jobs in the past that were on the periphery of food. I was a concierge of the Ritz for six years in Boston. I sold beer and spirits to some of the best restaurants in the world. So I'm super confident I am gonna throw down one of the best dishes I've ever made and impress the judges today because I got the chops to be the next master chef. Let's go, woo! I'm doing this for my mom, my family, and most importantly, my students at Lions Community. I like that slice. My mission here on Master Chef is to show people that you can dream hard, you can dream big, and even though people tell you you can't, you still can. I'm definitely gonna make my students proud today. The dish is a teriyaki salmon with fried rice. The jeopardy on a baked salmon is when we cut it open, it can't be overcooked. Fish is cooked perfectly. It's juicy, it's moist. This is how you come out the gate. Yeah! yeah. Put, that, put that play action! Put that play action! Oh! Let's go! Welcome. 
I have brought you a seared prime New York strip steak sitting on a bed of creamy polenta with sauteed mushrooms. Absolutely delicious. Season 10, highly competitive, is all about ambition. And I think you're ambitious. I can taste it. You got it. <laughs> Being able to spend my time dedicated to cooking and actually following this dream would be something that would really change my life in a way that I can't even explain. Hi. How are you, young lady? What is your name and what's the dish? My name is Molly and I have a grilled skirt steak with a Thai chimichurri and a ginger soy broccolini and some braised shallots. So being a chef, is that the dream? It really is. I kind of have done everything by the books my whole life, what people have wanted for me to do. And I finally realized that I was doing all of these things for other people. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to go in there and have a little taste. All right. All right, see where we are. It's a very difficult proposition to be able to balance Asian and Latino flavors. And I think you were really able to do that by way of the chimichurri and those herbs not dominating one another. And there is a lot of bright moments on this dish. Thank you. Love what you did with the sauce, but could have done with a bit more color on the steak. It just looks a little bit gray and all one tone. Why this dish? It's bringing techniques and flavors that I grew up with and I learned, but also bringing things that are new. I want to try new things. I, I like I to experience that. new flavors. I hear the enthusiasm, but I'm not tasting it. I like what I taste. It's well seasoned, it's balanced. Good enough for an apron? I don't know. Gentlemen, the idea of making a spot on chimichurri and bringing some of the Asian flavor and balancing the umami of the soy, understanding how to char those vegetables, and then the marinade on the steak, that for me is enough to warrant a big yes when it comes to the apron. Thank you. The dish leaves a bit to be desired. For me, it's a no. For me, I just don't know if you've got the experience to last into the next round of this competition. And so I'm going to say no. Thank you very much, Molly. Molly, hold on. With all due respect, you're wrong. And this is my opportunity to give you my one battle pass. Really? So you can prove Chef Gordon wrong <laughs> and Mr. Joe Bastianich wrong. I'm ready to fight for it. Do not let me down. Thank you so much. All right? Thank you. I'm going to prove both of y'all All right. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Guys, there's tons there. Ready? Tons there. I don't see it. I'm still fighting! <laughs> I don't saw the fight that I had, and he believed in me. I'm ready to show everybody that I am meant to be here. <laughs> I'm so glad, baby. Oh, my god. Just you and this cake. Yep. This is it. Gents, there's only two aprons remaining. We have to be so careful now. Yeah, absolutely. Ah. Let's go, Fresco! Try my best. Try my best. My name is Fred. I'm from Redondo Beach, California. I'm 24 years old, and I'm a revenue analyst. That's it, Fred. In the kitchen, I'm allowed to express myself beyond the fact that I'm just this quiet, shy, awkward kid. Honestly, I didn't even want to audition this season, but my mother actually gave me the courage to do it. She told me, just put yourself out there. You have nothing to lose. And lo and behold, I'm here right now. So thank you, Mom. I'm going to get this apron because I will present the best dessert I can possibly make. This is nine years of me baking on a plate. Tell me about the dish. What are you doing? I am doing a malted miso and chocolate cake. I'm calling that it That does not look like a chocolate cake. I'll be sure to go and make it pretty for you, Chef. How are you going to make that into a cake? I'm going to go and dice it up into little cubes once okay. it's cooled down. And then so I'm going to go... deconstructed? I don't use that word, Chef. It's okay. not deconstructed. It's a plated chocolate cake. A plated chocolate cake. If you're going to do a modern take on a 